R. K. Alia Nivashni. The title of our project is Sustainable Use of Natural Resources. Pollution. Pollution is the influence of harmful materials into the environment. There are four types of pollution, namely air pollution, water pollution, land pollution and noise pollution. In this project, we are mainly going to discuss about air pollution. Releasing the harmful contaminants such as toxic gases, biological molecules and chemicals into the environment is known as air pollution. This project is to reduce and decrease air pollution. Coming to the problem side, greenhouse gases plays a major role. Greenhouse gases can be from natural sources and human sources. One of its sources originates from the urbanization process. The most important way by which greenhouse gases affects the environment and planet is by climate change. Nowadays, climate change is very, very common and it's, it, it causes wildfires, storms, etc. It co its components include uh, carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, nitrogen oxide and sulfur dioxide. In this, some are very harmful. Greenhouse gases is the main cause of global warming. Carbon dioxide emission act like a blanket trapping heat in the atmosphere and warming up the earth, which leads to global warming. These gases are released by burning fossil fuels, factory exc excretions, transportation, etc. It causes issues like rapid breathing problem, increased cardiac output, elevated blood pressure and increased arrhythmias in human. Human activities have raised the atmospheric carbon dioxide to 50% in less than 200 years. Scientists have predicted that long term effect of climate change will include a decrease in sea ice and an increase in heat waves heavy precipitation and decreased water resource in some arid regions. Now, my friend Tanishka will explain you about its solutions. To overcome this situation, we have a superhero in our project called Algae. Yes, when we try to reduce carbon emission in our society, we have to focus on the natural resources. Yes, algae can consume more carbon dioxide than trees. This is because algae can spread over a larger area grow faster and easier. The most important parameters required for algae growth are pH, turbulence, temperature, salinity and etc. Micronutrients can help algae to grow faster in a better way. But how this process happens? First, algae consumes CO2 and sunlight from the environment and through the process of photosynthesis, it converts it into oxygen. It is very useful because uh, the harmful carbon dioxide is trapped and the beneficial oxygen is released out. It consumes 1.8 kg of carbon dioxide per day whereas trees consume 0 0.00019 kg of carbon dioxide per day. Not only in that, algae can consume plastics using carbon sources for their food and energy. One acre of algae can consume up to 2.7 tonne of carbon dioxide per day. That is, it can consume 10 to, 15 10 to 15 times of carbon dioxide more than the terrestrial plants. So now moving to the conclusion part, algae helps in reduction of carbon dioxide as we mentioned earlier. When it is implemented in a larger scale, it can definitely bring out a carbon negative society. It does not help our country alone. It helps every country and millions of people to reduce the carbon emission. It is an eco-friendly project to save our mother planet. Hope you like this. Thank you.